I believe that Nebraska's unique 100% public power system has served our state extremely well. I believe in and support our public power system. But that system is facing some very serious threats, some from outside and some from the inside. Uh, first of all, the threats from the outside. Uh, if you've looked at the Nebraska Chamber's uh, list of 100 changes they believe are needed to move Nebraska forward, you'll see that one of them is number 13. I don't know if these are in order, but number 13, consolidate all rural electric cooperatives into larger and more efficient organizations like NPPD or OPPD. That's one of their recommendations. Another one of the 100, number 22, evaluate moving away from public power in Nebraska. And yeah, ooh, let's hear that one. Set aside any financial resources garnered from this process to support long-term infrastructure and education projects. So these are risks from outside the system. And then there's the risk from within public power itself. And that's what I'm going to talk about mostly today. Now, to be perfectly honest, I think it's a serious mistake for Nebraska Public Power District to not move forward and take advantage of historically low-priced wind energy. But that's not the threat from inside that I refer to today. What I'm referring to is this. I'm hearing more and more about the backdoor opposition to rural wind development by the Nebraska Electric Generation and Transmission Corporate, uh, NEGT for short. There's mounting evidence that NEGT is making a power play to tell NPPD, who is supplying most of the electricity for their members, how to run its business. This includes a presentation to NPPD board members and its staff in May 2013 that materially distorted both the costs and economic benefits of wind development. And if you're not familiar with NEGT, it's a nonprofit corporative, uh, cooperative established under Article 7 of the Revised Statutes of Nebraska. It has 22 members, 21 are REAs. Uh, and its purpose and corporate power, uh, in summary, you could say, is to facilitate electrification in rural areas and negotiate power supply contracts. I can find nothing in the reading of the statute that gives NEGT either the authority or the responsibility to tell NPPD how to generate electricity. Yet that's exactly what they seem to be doing. To put it bluntly, it would seem that NEGT is attempting to hold NPPD hostage by suggesting they could go elsewhere to buy energy when contracts come due if NPPD invests in wind energy beyond 10%. That's an incredibly bad idea. Failure to take advantage of wind generation at the current low prices hurts the very people that the NEGT is supposed to represent, namely the residents of rural Nebraska. Furthermore, it's not NEG, NEGT's job to tell NPPD how to run their business or what mix of generation sources NPPD should use to meet current and future power supply needs. It's the NPPD Board of Directors that was elected by the public to chart the course of NPPD. Sadly, it appears that NPPD is paying more attention to these threats from NEGT than the vast majority of rural residents that they serve who want more wind energy. And as a result, NPPD's and NGE's customers will pay more for electricity in the days and years ahead. The fact that consolidation of REAs is also on the state chamber's radar screen would suggest that the NEGT should spend more time focused on helping the rural electrics respond to the challenges of the 21st century, including examining ways to generate rural economic development and improving their administrative and fixed operating overhead. Our public power system is at risk from the outside and the inside. Both the inside and the outside threat needs to be addressed so that Nebraska's public power system Continue, can continue to provide valuable service that we all depend on. Thank you very much. Thank you, Senator Hunt.